What all entails with the load testing? Well, per the ASME B3020, it states that it should be 125% load test or otherwise specified by the manufacturer. So if the manufacturer decides it should go to 200% or only 110%, that's up to the manufacturer's discretion. Um, but the B3020 gives the guidelines for 125%. After load test, it shall be visually inspected to make sure no visible cracks or, or deformation has appeared during the load test. Obviously, you're gonna be watching for that, that type of stuff while the load test is going on. Um, you can also go a step further into that and do some, uh, some NDT testing, non-destructive type testing, which would be mag particle um, testing, which um, you know, we could come through, mag particle all the welds, make sure you know, no hairline uh, fractures or anything appear during, during the load test, kind of give it that, that deeper dive, that deeper inspection. Um, again, none of that is a mandatory thing, but you know, we find a lot of customers, um, you know, once we're load testing it to, to go ahead and, and move on and do the mag particle, you know, it just makes sense to go ahead and get that done at the same time.